High-performing people and teams understand that there are three levels of thinking on every project. Level one, personal and professional. Level two, organizational. And level three, project first. In many ways, this is a basic understanding of human beings and how they relate to others and to their own work. Let's start at the basic level, the most human level, personal thinking. We were born at this level. Toddlers operate at this level. Me, me, me. And all of us bounce in and out of thinking about me about every 25 seconds, the psychologists tell us. But that's okay. It's not selfish. It's human. It's all about personal needs and personal safety, both actual safety and, in adults, career safety. It's important for me, for you, to feel safe in our work environment in order to create the opportunity for me, for you, to excel, contribute, and take pride in a successful project. An attitude of respect for people requires that the personal and professional needs of each of the people in any project have to be recognized, understood, and accounted for. Level 2 thinking is organizational thinking. It focuses on team and business outcomes and organizational successes. Attaining business goals contributes to the organization's health, growth, and longevity. Level 2 thinking is the fundamental bridge between the individual me at level one and my employer. By thinking at level two, you and I increase our job security, promotions, raises, bonuses, and ensure the mutual loyalty between us and our organization. But let's recognize that level two communication tends to be siloed, especially in traditional hierarchical organizations with layers of management and executives I need to get the word up to my boss and her boss, and if it's a big thing, all the way to the CEO or top executive. Usually, communication follows established channels up and down the silo. At level two, we're only concerned with our own piece of the work. It becomes fort mentality. The general contractor says, guard the fort against those vandal architects who are going to try to give us incomplete plans that make us finish design by RFI. And the architect says, guard the fort against those vandal builders who are going to blame us for all their mistakes. And, and the owner says, guard the fort against everyone else who wants more of our money. That epitomizes level two thinking. Even the simplest negotiations can become zero-sum games. I win, you lose. And we lose sight of the big picture. But in collaborative projects, win-win is the goal. Doing what's best for the project is the goal. So the third level of thinking on a project is project first thinking. Here's the crazy thing. You can't work your way up from the bottom. You can't get to the top by starting at level one with your own interest and leveling up for what's best your organization and somehow converting that thinking to level three project first thinking. You'll worry about your little piece. No, you have to start at level three. You commit to level three thinking. How do you know when you're operating at level three? Every time a problem arises, the team gets together and then asks, not what's best for me or my organization, what's best for the project. That is level three thinking. Here's an example. A type one concrete and steel three-story fire station. And the structural engineering calcs were delivered late. That meant the fabricator was going to start later and the detailers were overbooked and would also take longer. That'll push the entire project two months late. What should you do? What do normal people do? Blame the designer. Blame the design builder. Blame the owner for the confusing specs. Or wait and accelerate the finish trades to make up time. They love that. This particular real world team got the project back on track at the onset. They paid extra to accelerate the detailing team, expedited shipping, and adjusted the schedule to small batch floor by floor starts and overlap trades were workable. The project was saved and for very little money, and all the stakeholders agreed to it. That's maximizing the whole. So in order for people to live at level three, we all must feel safe and secure at levels one and two. But it is only at level three that project first thinking lives and thrives. And only project first thinking allows for true team collaboration and trust, which are essential to delivering the best project.